the reason that I was explaining that it's important that uh, the, the community consider going back to free chlorine is because the fact that there's two water quality um, concerns. If you have high organics in your water, whether you use chlorine or chloramine, you're going to create disinfection byproducts. The ones associated with chloramine are a thousand times more toxic than those associated with free chlorine. If you use free chlorine, you're going to form trihalomethanes and halocytic acids, regulated compounds. The compounds associated with chloramination are not regulated. And so therefore, you don't test, you don't know, they're not a problem. They are a problem. They're 10,000 times more toxic. That being said, the problem that we're finding in this particular parish's drinking water system is that the free chlorine um, binds with the ammonia molecule. By the time it makes its way to the end of the distribution system, the chlorine's gone and you have free nitrogen that's feeding the biofilm at the ends of the distribution system where these types of bacteria and amoeba like to live. There's no chlorine residual and there's plenty of food. So not only are you causing the problems associated with chloramine disinfection byproducts, but you're exacerbating the problem and creating um, bioreactor chambers that are direct 